Hey everyone, this is Blackbinder, and welcome back to the Let's Play of EverQuest with the Enchanter class. Alright, we are going back into the Estate of Unrest today. I'm going to hopefully make it a little bit further in. Uh, it's kind of, with the amount of experience you get, the, the route you go to get to the final camping spot, you kind of basically, you by the time you can hold that camp, you are, like, you are the... Uh, Kind of the max level that that i want to get to 16 basically uh i went ahead and i'm not going to charm yet because the the death beetles aren't far enough better than my my uh enchanter pet to be worth the hassle of charming them i will have to have to switch probably around 20 24 but we'll see because my pet he's still conning white to me and he hasn't it hasn't been long enough for uh it hasn't been long enough for the, the NPC mobs to overtake them in, in usability. The main reason why I would want to switch right now is because I can actually control the death beetles. Like, I can bring them back. But I think if I'm careful, we should be okay. Let's see. Got 96. This should level us, which will heal our pet. Or heal our mercenary. He's down to like 35%. Let me get in there. Stupid pet standing right on top of it. That's one thing this place is not good for is... Actually, you know what? Okay, he must not have been in the right... He's His body's over here. Uh, but anyway, that's one, place this pl one thing this place isn't really good for is money. There are a few things that sell for a couple gold, but this is an experience spot. The inside might be okay. I don't actually know. Do I have lull? I don't. I need to get lull out. Well, we'll do soothe. I think we got a higher level one, but no, that's memory blur. Whenever possible, I do not want to grab two things. I did... Uh, I pre-buffed before I started the recording. I even gave myself strength. <laughs> Alright. Evocation is at 40. That's respectable. Uh, we get, what, 5 per level. I'm level 12. So I should have 60. Okay, maybe not that respectable. Where did that guy go? I think he went up here. The Death Beetle. Let me check around the corner too. This guy in the Enchanter chat said, I cannot recall the last time I hunted alone. I favor people bedazzled by what we can do, truth be told. And I'm like, you mean mobs here actually require mezzing? In World of Warcraft, more than one mobs just means you switch to AoE or your single target spells. AoE rotation or single target rotation. Those are the only two things. All right, this place is a little bit crowded. Let's. I'm gonna give them time to separate because they've all got different paths. Eventually, they'll separate. Let's go over here and kill this death beetle. There he is, waiting right for us. Nope. I want to do. Since he's even to me, I want to use choke. More damage. And since it's a dot, it's over time, so I don't get a huge chunk of aggro right when I cast it. He's still got Soothe on him. How long does that last? Uh, about a minute and a half, looks like. Two minutes and two and a half minutes. <laughs> I've gotten so much misinformation over the years I get dumbfounded. Ah, that's not really people's fault. The game changes so much and it's really hard to tell what's current and what's not. I mean, they've got 20, what, 27 expansions, something like that. I've got like 23 of them. All right. 
They should be a little bit more separated now. Or at least enough for me to pull one of them. There we go. Well, oh, they're all completely gone. Choke this guy as well. Do some damage. Let's uh, pet, pet back. And then pet attack. Oops, the death beetle never hit me. EQ is my solo game. It always has been. Even back in 1999. Definitely not the smart way to do it. You can pro it's probably quite quicker to do groups, but I don't know, it's just fun. It's probably nostalgia, but it's just fun sneaking into places, seeing what you can see. Like even in Warcraft I do that. Like I mean a lot of people do that. They'll go back to old raids even when they don't need anything just to look at it. Oh, come on, stop fizzling. Aggressive, go. We're trying to get around the house towards the tree in the back. It's actually kind of a dangerous spot to sit. You can sit across the river, but I hate jumping over the river, so I just I sit in the back, and that gets most of the pathing will go far enough away where I can sit down if I need to. I think if I hit you, it uses the thing right in front of me. I'll have to try that out. All right, we got some undead here. The skeletons are higher. They're greater skeletons, so you got to be careful. Never knew. I guess enchanters are pullers as well. That's pretty sweet. All of my classes are pullers. <laughs> I always thought go to pullers or monks, monks and bards, monks, bards, and SKs. But again, this is 10, 15 years ago, basically, so. And just, I don't think, why would enchanters pull? Because they can't feign death, can they? Giant Scarabag, that one's okay. For money-wise. Enemies can spawn right here, so you gotta be careful. Sometimes they'll be there right as you come out. So just don't come out unless you're ready to pull. Yeah, they don't have Feign Death. I, I don't think so. I don't know how they would... If they screwed up a pull, what do they do? Oh, we got a freaking jack-o'-lantern. Okay, uh, I need to mesmerize him. Yes, he is not quite undead. Alright, so we need to burn this guy down. So my pet has enough... Who do I have targeted? 
Okay, never mind, I got it. Uh, I need to burn him down so my pet has enough life to tank the, uh, or my mercenary has enough life to tank the jack-o'-lantern. Alright, jack-o'-lantern, it's wearing off. Let's get hit by him once. Alright, we need to choke him. Come on. Shit. If I get hit again, I'm in, I'm in trouble. Shit. I'm in trouble. Come on, pathing. He's very close to me. Is he gonna die? I don't think so. We got two beetles on him as well. Damn it. Yeah, he's not gonna die. Well, that was not good. We didn't get very far before those beetles respawned. We can kill that jack o' lantern if it was only him, but. I was under 30% life, so that's when he started running after me. Like, only me. Illusion Halfling, Bind Affinity. That's what we should do, is Bind Affinity here. So if I die, I'll be right here, but... No, if we die, we'll just we'll go somewhere else. That'll be a good reason to change venues. Alright. We can actually make our way back in there. Those beetles, I, I, I can, I'm more than capable of killing them without my mercenary, so we'll just meditate up and then go. TLP. I don't know what that means. On the live players? No.
I wonder how long my mic has been muted. That is no bueno. Might have to do some commentary over it if it was muted for too long. I don't know why it would have been muted, though. All right, we got five seconds left on our mercenary. You know what? No, let's go ahead and choke because he is our level. Ah, oh, stop fizzling. I fizzled until I had no mana. <laughs> or not enough mana. Did he miss me? Yeah, the death beetle tried to bite me and it missed me. That's why my pet was going after him. I was like, wait, he never hit me. But he did attack me. He just didn't connect. <clears throat> wonder what my mute button is. Why would I have hit that on accident? Or when would I have hit that on accident? We're just going to go ahead and burn this down so my pet doesn't die. And then we will attempt to loot this beetle corpse. Amanita phalloid. 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 All right, now we can see everything that's going to spawn right here. So I probably should meditate in the hallway, but I don't want to. Let's check out. I'm going to check out what my... Well, my hotkey is for muting, so I don't accidentally hit that again. Audio. No general hotkeys. It's control slash. Yeah, that's possible. I might have hit that on accident. I actually was teasing the idea of doing one whole uh, video with no commentary and I'd turn up all the sound so you can really get like a, a feel for the ambience of the, of the game, the atmosphere, but it would probably be a short episode, probably like 10 minutes. Meditating 3% at a time. All right, what? Nice, we're already halfway, a little over halfway through 12. Just killing beetles. I'm going to save this filter of the wolf for when I need to do some traveling. I'm not going to use it just for killing. There's everything open, so let's go ahead and line these up now every time we open it so long as we don't alt f4 we should have that organization all right jack-o-lantern round two here in a second they uh at least tank mercenaries what i remember them having a year ago is or whenever I played last. Uh, what well, I remember them having a flat regeneration. Like, their regeneration went up, but on top of that, they just had a flat amount. And it was the flat amount was the same for all levels. So they would just regenerate out of combat extremely quickly. And I think that that is what they changed. The flat amounts that are added to them. All right. Let's choke him. If I need to kite him, I can. I can use the pathing issues. And he resisted my choke. We got the second one, though. This guy can proc a mini stun as well. What I'm going to do is get on the other side of him. Well, which way is more likely for someone to pat through here? I don't know. 
We just want to keep his health lower than the mercenaries. That way I can be sure that he's not going to die. The mercenary. Or if he does get low, I can just uh, start burning him. Shit, there's a death beetle there. You know what? If you want to play, we'll play. Terribly inefficient, but we'll do it. And I don't think the stun is working on him. Got a bunch of uh, pumpkin seeds and stuff. Pumpkin flesh. Alright. Insufficient mana. I think we got enough. He's got enough hit points to take this death beetle out. Actually, I'm curious. Can you keep your pet out and charm someone? I always just assumed you couldn't in the past. I don't I don't actually know though. I'm pretty sure you can't. I'll just ask. Whoops, I think I just hit my own pet. Mesmerize the extra dead death beetle. Then let's burn this one. Do I have enough for choke? I do not. So let's go ahead and just kill this guy. Or try to. My pet's only got 27% life left is the only reason I'm second-guessing it. Come on, hit me. He doesn't want to hit me. Well, we have cures for that. It takes about 5% for our chaotic feedback. Come on, I'm sitting right in front of you. <laughs> no, they're too smart. Twelve percent, thirty-three percent. Oh, I, I guess I should have been behind him the whole time. Damn it! Killed him. Oh well. Eighty-one percent life or eighty-one percent uh, experience. Come on, get him. We have almost passively regained enough to regen enough to cast our chaotic feedback, but not quite enough. All right, now we will sit in the hallway because we have no protection. No mercenary. Gosh, could you imagine this game before mercenaries? I would be charming each mob. And each kill would be slower. And... Meditating, they didn't have uh, out of combat regeneration, so that would be slower. It was a pretty big milestone just to get to level 20. I think that's when you got your surname, or is it level 10? No, I don't need a surname. I wanted to do black and then binder, but apparently you can't just name yourself black. <laughs> or it was already taken, actually. That's exactly what I said. I had always just assumed it wasn't possible. I guess we will try it. I mean, I remember the red message you got and everything. You cannot have, or you already have a pet charmed or something like that. So... Instead of soothe or what? What do we want to use? I can't. I wish he got more spell slots early on. Because it's a pain to work with only eight. All 
All right, so yeah, you get the only one pet at a time message. Well, good to know. I'm still going to try anyway. <clears throat> All right, we are almost at max mana. I should really rebuff, but I think... Um, for right now, I don't think the mana cost is actually the most efficient way to use it. I think uh, using my pets as expendable is the most efficient way to do it. But <coughs> Back in the day, um, in the Planes of Power update, at level 51, you could actually solo on the Planes of Power with a Magician. What you would do is you would just pet, pet solo. You would have your pet fight them. And then as soon as they were going to die, you'd get 10 seconds away. So you would, and you'd start the cast. And in that 10 second time period, uh, your pet would die. And then you'd get a new one up before the dude came and got you. But I always hated that. I did do it um, for a little bit, but that's just not fun. It takes forever for a pet to kill something by itself. Even if it was the most efficient way, I wouldn't want to do it. We got a rusty short sword. We don't want it though. I take the zombie skins just because they're lightweight and stackable, but they're really not not worth it. They're or they don't sell for very much. Couple silver, I think. Nice. Still camp in an epic 1.0 mob. Man, the epics were so useful and cool. Like uh alright, for for Necromancer, right? You always would use a lower level, a lower level snare. Let's just wait for the 22 seconds to be up. Um, a lower level snare, because it costs less mon costs less uh, mana, and you you didn't really the damage was nice, but you didn't really care about the mana. You wanted the snare, so you could fear them, and they wouldn't run super far away before the fear wore off. Um, so you'd basically let them go away, then come back, and then go away, then come back. But uh, the Necromancer Epic 1.0 gives you a staff that has a clickable snare on it which is just awesome you cannot have one more pet you cannot have more than one pet at a time all right yeah i've heard oh god damn it let's uh mesmerize the dead death beetle then attack the greater skeleton and choke him. I don't I wasn't confident my mesmerize would work on the skeleton. Come on. Get off me. Why is my pet not taunting me? Pet main tank. Merc main tank. Merc. I do not know how to set him as a tank. Get off me. You know what? I'm just gonna blow you up. I don't care about my hit points. Some bones and a rusty mace. No, we will not use the rusty mace. Let's blow him up once. I always like to hit them at least once. Um, back in the day, if you let your pet completely kill something, it, you would get like no experience from it. Um, I think, so I would always just hit them with one dot or something. But, uh, also, it, I don't know. It's just a force. It's a habit right now is what I'm trying to say. Because these two probably could do it more efficiently than I can. All right, we got a level. We are level 13 now. Our pet has been healed. Or our, our mercenary has been healed. How do you set tank? Pet tank. Mercenary tank. Merc tank. No, that just shuts off the thing. How do I make you tank, sir? Is there a mercenary window? Merc. Let me see if I can. Uh, 
How do I? How do I set my mark to main tank? The guy said it didn't do anything, but I, I don't remember them me grabbing aggro off of them so easily. So I would I'm just gonna it's good to know anyway. Or no, is it pet taunt? Or did I already try that? Uh, I think I already tried that. Is the window bigger? No. Switch? No. Yeah, screw it. Someone will tell me eventually. All right, let's get one of these guys over here real quick. Pet back. Pet back. Then once he gets up here, pet attack. Or mercenary aggressive. <laughs> Get in there. The warrior makes sure it's in the assist, auto assist press, then click the right name in their group. Okay, yep, that's it. I remember now, main tank. Okay, he's almost down. Did he hit me again? Look, Samther has captured Tormented Dead's attention. Alright, so we should be much better off now. I mean, well, sort of. He'll be able to hold aggro a lot easier. I still, it may make things a little worse if I don't make sure I get hit first so my pet goes after him. Hey, he actually uh, attacked him before I got hit. Come on, hit me. Hit me! See, this is what I'm talking about. Now he's doing it too quickly. So we may need to turn that off for now. Show player aggro percentage. That's not, though. Oh, there we go. It was already on. <laughs> Alright, I turned him off of main tank for now because I do want... I want this guy, me, to be able to hit this guy. Or him to hit me so I can have my pet actually attack him. This is obviously taking a little longer without them both beating on him. So what we'll need to do is, there's no command, or I don't know if there's a command to do it, is the problem. Because I would like to have it on Alt 3 or something. Alright, let's move back here again. These guys are going to respawn. Well, they just did. Let's go ahead and grab one of them. Pet pack. I think we should be safe here. Pet aggressive. Yeah, but eventually once my pets have thousands of hit points and stuff like that, I think buffing them will be the more mana efficient way to do things. But right now, they're just kind of expendable. right now because he just died son of a gun got interrupted because he kicked me and I moved backwards and moving makes your uh, makes your spell fail but we do have new spells we need to we need to memorize so that'll be fun All right, what do we want? Or what do we get? 
enthrall that is a better mesmerize but we don't think we need to use that too much mana and i was for right now i don't it's only taken us about 30 seconds to kill something so we don't we don't need the extra time limit on there eventually we i think we will need the increased level though right because that that works up to level 55 ours works up to what 20 oh no they're still both 55 okay so until we need the extra time we won't need to use that rune one what does rune do Covers your target in a shimmer of runes that absorbs damage. Consumes a cat eye gate when cast. Uh, it doesn't... You cast this on yourself for the times that a mob aggros you and it gives you a tiny buffer. It's not something I can cast on the tank to kind of pre-heal him. I mean, I can, but it would be incredibly mana inefficient. Alright, one more level and then we get Breeze. That'll make regenerating our mana a Breeze. <laughs> Serpent Sight. You know what? Let's, let's put it on and just see. Don't think it changes anything except for making the people red. Uh, yeah, I guess there's kind of a red tint now. But you did see the light increase. You know what? Let's take this off. I kind of. I should have taken my light off before I casted it. It's hard to tell. Let's look at Languid Pace real quick. I want to see when I should start using this. It's 50 mana, which is... I like to compare it with Chaotic Feedback. Chaotic Feedback is a low mana spell. Okay, so it's like three times as much as my low level spell. So this will unfortunately not be good for me yet. The What it would be good for is if we were... If I was in a big group and we were taking some kind of hard content right now, some enemies are very, very good fighters. Like if their class is a fighter, basically. And this will, uh, this will really um, slow their attacks. If they're only using attacks, it can, it can like almost have their damage on some some of the slows and more. Like uh, if I remember right, some of the slows are like seventy five percent. 80% slows so if you're if you only ever attack then that would be quite a big DPS loss and I'm I'm fairly certain don't quote me on this but some mobs are untankable unless you slow them like they do more damage than can be healed or mitigated over a period of time obviously they they're not gonna one-shot you but Okay, let me check again just to make sure my stuff's working. Shit, it's not. Oh, well. I'll have to see what's wrong with it. My desktop audio hadn't been coming through, so I, I'm kind of playing it through the mic, so you might hear a little echo. But... I. For whatever reason, it hasn't been working. I hope my freaking headphones aren't busted. We'll see. Alright. Let's go ahead and... Uh, let's go ahead and... You know what? Let's, en let's end it there for now. And I don't want to go super long if the video is unwatchable because of the, uh, the echo. But... Uh, I'll go ahead and go through, and if I need to add commentary, I will. So this is where we're going to leave it off for now. We still need to get three more levels in here, or 2.7 levels in here. And once we're done with that, uh, I'll we'll go through the Atlas or something and find a new place to play. So probably going to be Polluted Caverns. It's very difficult to beat Polluted Caverns for experience. Um, like, I could take a whole bandit camp by myself, probably. But we'll see. Alright, so don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more videos like this one, and I will see you guys next time. Take it easy.